Okay, we are back. Now we are in the uh, area where we can encounter dwarves, and as you can see, it's a different building here. This is a dwarven fortress. We just basically crossed over from the elven realm into the dwarven realm, and we find this fortress here. So in here, we can find, if I find, oh, there's an oddment collector here around here somewhere. But don't really care. So the dwarves are in here. Now we want to find a dwarven workbench because we want to build. Here we go. I think I need to get an alignment with these guys first before I can build. Here's a dwarven forge. So it's basically the same except it makes dwarf steel ingots, which is cool. So, I mean, I can show you that real quick. Let's make 16. And we'll just put one coal in here. So basically it's the same as the Elven Forge. Uh, it does the same, I think, number of operations. Or it might do more because it's the Dwarven Forge. I'm not sure, but we'll get some Dwarf Steel ingots here in a second. So we can see the area around. Now the Blue Mountains are just over this way. Now I think in order to... Um, these are... Oh, these are Iron ingots, sorry. In order to make Dwarf Steel, if I remember correctly... Uh, let's take these out. We need, um, yeah, actually, you know what, let's finish these off. We're going to use all of these. I think we need um, blue stone, like uh, from the Dwarf Mountains, from the Blue Mountains, just over here. We can get blue stone from there, and I think we can use that. Uh, and I don't, we might find, let's, let's actually walk around here, we might find a dwarf with a quest here order to get some uh, reputation with these guys. No, not yet. That's okay, but all these blocks can be made through um, the Dwarven crafting table here. So there's all our iron. We're going to take that with us. Hopefully we find a crevice here with more iron um, so we can get that. We can pick up, make, make some Dwarf Steel stuff. So you can see they all have their own armor, shields, weapons, and stuff. You know, compared to the elves, they look a little, obviously, a lot different. Uh, well, this guy's got a coin, so what do you want to trade for? Okay, so, oh, this guy's, right, we can hire guys from this guy. So we can hire dwarves, but we have to have a uh, really good reputation with the dwarves first to be able to do that. So I'm going to keep going this way to the west, and we're going to go to the Blue Mountains. And once we get there, which might be really, really soon here, just let me have a quick look over here. I think there's a bit of ways to go. Ah, crap, bad chunk load. Um... There's a little bit of a way to go here before we get to the Blue Mountains. So once I get there, I will come back and we can check those out. Alright, so I was mining a couple of pieces of bluestone that I found here. And I found this, which it means that there's a Dwarven home under here. Here we go. And this is like a hidden door right here. Check that out. Cool, eh? So these are the uh, Dwarves here. Slate 28, Gun to Bad War. Yeah, I'll pass on that one, buddy, because, you know, uh, not able to do that right now. And these guys have got stuff in their house here. You can check this out, too, if you wanted to come in here. I mean, you can always steal stuff from here if you want to, but, you know, once again, we're not going to do that. they got hammers here and axes and stuff. Is this the guy that we wanted? Yeah, he's the same guy. Um, they got a chest over here. What's in the chest? Yeah. Iron ingot. Not much. Dwarven beds. Pretty cool. So we're going to actually go up here and just going to sleep in, in here for tonight because I don't want to go outside. I want to sleep at night. Oh, right. It's um, just raining, not not nighttime yet. So we have to watch out because in the rain, the uh, orcs can come out. In the Blue Mountains, you still end up with uh, orcs and stuff. So you just got to be careful when you're walking around here not to uh, run into that. So here's another house here, I think, because just because of this brick here. Maybe... But they're definitely hidden. Like So if you're looking for dwarven houses, they're really hard to find. Um, yeah, I think there's probably one under here. Uh, it's hard to tell. I'm just grabbing the blue stone because I need it for the uh, forge. But there might be a house under here. don't really see a doorway, but you never know. Um, oh, so there's a dwarven forge over here too. Let's go check that out. So here's another dwarven fortress. We're not that far away from where we were. Just kind of got past that uh, bad chunk load, and now we're here. So this is a Dwarven Forge. Now they put a gate on here to keep this guy in here. Not exactly sure why. Probably because there's orcs around at night. So once again, we need to get reputation with this guy. 
but they've got a uh, unsmeltery here so you can put items in this and unsmelt them and get your some of your ingots back so if you end up with uh, crappy uh, crafted items you can get some stuff back uh, what else have we got in here blue dwarven steel ingots um, not a lot else some copper some bronze cooked venison charcoal so we're gonna we, does he have a oh yeah here we go right there so we're gonna take our Surulin, I guess it's called, and we're going to put four of these guys in here. And we're going to make ourselves some Dwarven Steel. Cool. So there's Blue, blue Dwarven Steel. Now that's a little different than um, the uh, Dwarven Steel from the Misty Mountains, but or the Iron Hills, but that's what that's from. And then this looks like it might be another a second smeltery? Why is it? Is there no? Oh, there's the entrance. So same idea. Here's a second one here. Tin, iron. So you can find a few things in here. Let's take that. And then, I know I really shouldn't do it, but we need to make more uh, dwarven steel here. So let's do this and this. Cook that up real quick. And we might, what we might, might want to do is make um, well, I mean, we're half elven armor and half dwarven armor. Let's make a better weapon, though. Blue dwarven axe isn't bad, but maybe we make a dwarven sword here. So, actually, we can't because we don't have access yet. So, once we get access, we'll do that. Alright, so we're going to keep going. I should probably mark this place um, only because. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to find Dwarven Forges, but now that it's on the map, it should be relatively easy to find. So, Blue Mountains alignment, we can get a couple of ways. One, by killing Orcs here. Uh, I believe that the Dwarves will give us um, reputation here for killing Orcs. And we can do it by, um, obviously, tr uh, doing quests for them. So what I'm actually looking for right now is a Dwarven Mineshaft. I don't think I'm, I'm not quite in the Blue Mountains yet. I'm just like on the edge of the mountains. So once we get into the Blue Mountains, uh, I think we can find the Mineshafts relatively easily. Now the Blue Mountains aren't tall like the Misty Mountains. Um, they're relatively sh short in height, low with a lot of valleys. And in the valleys generally is where you find the uh, Dwarven Mines. I can hear orcs already. Just going to keep a watch out because I don't want to run into a patch of them. I mean, I've got good armor now, but my weapon's not the best. The other thing I was going to say about the weapons... What is this? I guess this is just a chunk of... Yeah, just a chunk of bluestone. Uh, oh no, actually that's a... I hear a fire under there. Yeah, this is a house. This is somebody's house, man. Um, don't know how to get in here, though. Probably buried underneath there. But that's a dwarven house there. So there's the Blue Mountains. Please ignore the Teconstruct floating island. Getting there. So as I was going to say about the weapons and tools and stuff, um, you'll notice as we've been playing here, there's no level bar. right? We don't get any levels while we're in Middle-earth. Um, the idea is is that the more you use your weapons and armor, uh, the more they level up. So, and they, you get a choice between certain things as they level up. So once they reach a certain level, um, or a certain point of experience, they gain a level, and then you can uh, choose between a couple of things to um, level it up. Not sure why that was like no rain there all of a sudden. So there's the Blue Mountains there. We're going to try and stay in the valleys. Um, hopefully we find those the dwarven um, mine shaft. We want to go down one of those. Uh, you get lots of good um, quests from the dwarves down there. It's mostly like a, there's like lots of minerals and stuff down there, so you can go down and you can do some mining. And then most of the quests is they ask for, um, hey, can you get me some rubies? Hey, can you get me some, you know, ingots? Hey, I need, you know, different types of opals or something like that. So it's relatively easy to gain experience with the dwarves that way. 
it can actually happen really fast or it might happen really slow and you might find I mean dwarves out here like this sometimes you can get quests from them but for the most part you're better off trying to go underground all right let me see here let's have a look on the map yeah so this valley that kind of goes along we're gonna follow it along I'll come back when I find a uh, um, a dwarf of mine okay so we got bandit problem we got a bandit problem. There's four of them. They're coming after me. I do not want to lose my stuff, so I am I'm making a hasty retreat. I don't know if I don't think these dwarves will attack them. Highly unlikely. Yeah, see I wish I had like lots of arrows. So we're gonna do something we can do here to stop them from getting us. We're going to go up here and do that. That should pretty much stop them from getting us, I think. He's still coming. Wish I had a bow. See, it sounds like this. You wish you just had a bow, right? So it's only one guy left. Let's see what he does. Come on, buddy. Time to pay what? Pay the piper? Are you the piper? Is that what you are? Come on, buddy. Bring it. Goodbye. Thanks for the coins. One down. I don't know how many I got. Fifteen. Not bad. So I don't know if those guys are still over there or not. So let's go up and over. Um, yeah, let's go see. I really probably shouldn't do this because there's three of them. Um, once again, I'm not the best combat player here in Minecraft. Other stuff, sure, but combating, meh. Ow. Maybe I'm not good at other stuff, too. I don't see them coming. But I want to take a chance. Should make an osmium sword. But I said I wasn't going to do that. Oh, I hear a dwarf. There's a dwarf house here somewhere. I don't see anybody. Hoping they despawned. Hmm. Let's just stay up here and make our way around. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back once I'm on the other side or i got to fight these guys again. I'll be right back. Alright, sure enough, just a little ways from where we were, uh, we found a Dwarven mine shaft. So we're going to go down here. One thing about the Dwarven mine shafts, you don't really have to worry about enemies down here. So basically they're just like this and you just head down the ladder. And down here will be Dwarven tunnels. It's kind of like a regular mine shaft in a way. Um, once you get down here, but it's just basically all dwarven structure. So sometimes they're really big and other times they can be really small, but you can find lots of minerals down here. Now you can dig up all this stuff if you want, but it's not necessary. Um, and in a, while, in a few minutes here, some dwarves will start to spawn, spawn in here. Uh, we might find a few of them here. But we're going to collect a few things while we're down here. Um, they don't get mad at you for mining down here, um, although they probably should being dwarves. But you can see here there's another walkway above this, so there's a part of a mine shaft up there. You know? So there's stuff everywhere in the uh, dwarven strongholds. So we're going to wander around down here and we're going to try and find our way deeper into... we're at level 42 right now. See if we can go down a little deeper. Um, at least find a cave so we can get down and try and find some uh, minerals to take. Oh, by the way, you can find chests around here too that might have some stuff in it. Uh, tortures, glowstone. I mean, I'm not going to steal it from the dwarves. I'll mine the stuff off their walls, sure, but I'm not going to steal uh, stuff out of chests. So, what I'll do is I brought a few um, 
Miss Craft um, books with me this time when I came through the portal, uh, only because I didn't want to have to make them here. I could have, but it's just easier to make them on the other side and bring them through. So uh, once I get to a position here where I'm pretty much full of stuff, I am going to use the miscraft book and get out of here um, and then head home and then we'll always be able to come back here and mine whenever we'd like, which will be good. So I'll be back in a few minutes once I find my way a little down a little further or I find a good quest we can do. Be right back. Okay, from right around the corner from where we were, I just found this deposit of glowstone, which is nice. Yes, you don't have to go to the nether to get glowstone. You can find it down here in the Dwarven Mines. Um, so that's another thing, too, which is kind of cool. I'm going to pick up some more iron, um, whatever I can find. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we found our first guy that we can actually trade with. One guy wanted us to kill Gundabad Orcs. This guy wants some glowstone dust. So we're going to accept this quest and finish that up real quick because we had some on us, which is excellent. Oh, yeah, those dwarves, you hear them in pain over there. It's because they're... I'm stepping on these stalagmites. Um, so yeah, that's not good. So let's go to our factions and let's find the... Here we go, Blue Mountains. So we are at... What are we at here? 22. Nice. So if you ever find stalagmites on the ground, you want to just break them up. Alright, so I'm going to keep looking for more quests here while we're in here. Um, hopefully we can find some more easy stuff like finding glowstone. Um, because these are simple quests to finish up. Uh, these are the ones here we want to get rid of. You stand on me, you can take damage. So, all right, we're slowly making our way down. Uh, we're still at f level 42, but we're making our way. Here's another guy here. What does this guy want? There's two of them. Spawn of Gundabad and Slay Gundabad Orc. So we can't do those. Um, I mean, we could and come back, but we're not going to do that right now. So yeah, here's a way down here. So we're going to go down right after we pick up some of this stuff. We don't really need the glowstone. I mean, we, we can make glowing dwarven brick. Um, so that's one thing we could make. But really we want it um, for trading with the dwarves. And you're going to find dwarves through this whole place. Like you can search through here and they'll be all over underneath the ground here. Or uh, what's this down here? There's another passageway down there. Let's grab this. So this place... Um, all the Dwarven Mines. Generally there's a lot of places that you can uh, are places to explore here. Uh, you can be mining forever down here. So um, I'm going to come back in a few minutes once we uh, make our way down a little further and hopefully we can get to a place where... Oh, what's this guy want? Collect one Opal. We're going to take that because we found a bunch already. So another eight. Picked up our coins there. So we pick up another eight um, Reputation. So we're at 30 now. So we should, if we find a dwarven um, uh, crafting table, we should be able to make a uh, dwarven forge. And if I remember correctly, I think we need dwarf steel and stone, or dwarven stone, I think, or something. I can't remember what it is for the workbench. And then for the forge, it's just dwarven stone. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, after a little bit of digging here, we had to dig our way down. Finally find our way into a big cave down here. So I'm hoping to find some good material here. So there's some more opals. Um, some niter, which we don't really need. We picked up a few along the way. I didn't know if I needed it for anything. Uh, but there's going to be dwarves down here too, right? They're all digging down here, finding whatever. Um, so we're going to dig down here. going to try and get some more iron in here. I'm almost full. My backpack is almost completely full. So I think once we max it out, what we're going to do is we're going to drop a... Uh, um, miscraft book down here. So you see, I'm already I'm at full right now. Gotta ditch these guys. Gotta pick up the uh, silver here. Silver is good for trading. Um, so we're gonna um, get what we can from here. I still haven't got a uh, uh, blue mountains or workbench yet, but we can get that when we come back. But we'll drop a book here and head out and come back at another time when we need to do some mining. Uh, but right now, I think what I'll do is probably finish up this episode here in the Dwarven Mines. And, you know, what we'll do when we come back next time is perhaps go out in the other direction and explore a little bit more of Middle-earth. Now, there's not a lot here to actually um, fight on this side. 
on the other side of the world, it's a little different, a lot more orcs. If you make your way towards uh, Angmar um, up north, definitely you're going to find a lot of orcs. If you make your way into the Misty Mountains, you will definitely find a lot of orcs. If you make your way down towards Isengard, you will definitely find a lot of orcs. And if you go down to Rohan, uh, you will find the Rohirrim riding around down there. Um, but you'll also find orcs spawning everywhere too. So, and the Rohirrim will ha will actually fight them as well. So, you know, if you're down there, you can get them to uh, fight with you. But until next time, I'll see you later.